to enable you to more easily explore the expanded culturally responsive and socially just counselling model. I've provided a list of the six domains in the model, followed by each of the competencies within each domain. All of these are active links, so you can click on competency 10, for example, and go to the portion of the model that expands on core competency 10. Use this back to domain list to go back to the beginning and choose a different competency, so say competency 3. You'll notice that within each of these competencies, I have listed learning objectives related to the particular competency, as well as the key concepts that I have clustered together under that particular key competency. So in this case, worldview, individualist worldview, collectivist worldviews, etc. Each of these learning outcomes takes you to the glossary if you click on the key term. So if you're reading this learning outcome and you wonder about the definition of worldview, click on that bolded word and you will be taken to the glossary definition of worldview. You can use the worldview label to go back to the place that you were in the chapter two main table, or you can use your back button to do this. Then you can return to the list of competencies by simply clicking on the back to domain list. Let's look at competency three for another reason for this expanded culturally responsive and socially just counseling model. If you look at any one of these terms and the learning outcome associated with it, you'll see that I have positioned the content throughout the book under each key term. So if you click on chapter three, you'll get the portion of the conceptual chapter where, where I expand on the concept of cultural encapsulation. Use the back button to go back to the table. You can then click on the chapter by Jeff Chang, and it will take you to a section of his chapter where he speaks about cultural encapsulation. Again, use your back button to go back to the table. This enables you to work through the book in a non-linear fashion, looking at how various authors address this term cultural encapsulation. My intent is that you are able to look at the learning outcome associated with cultural encapsulation, look at the glossary definition so that you're clear about what the concept means and the ties to the professional literature, follow the conceptual discussion of cultural encapsulation, and then look at applied practice examples throughout the book of that particular concept. In essence, this section of the book functions as an index, organized according to the core competencies and the key concepts within each of those core competencies.